Hey guys, so I am doing a mini pocket letter every Monday of 2018. <laughs> I know, that is like the largest commitment that I could ever make. <laughs> but I'm going to really try and do it. And you guys, I think it's going to work out. Because I'm loving the whole mini pocket letter and I just... I think I want to keep it going in 2018 and make as many as I can. So we're going to try and do a mini pocket letter every Monday of every month. <laughs> and we're going to see how this goes. So I figured because I'm making so many po mini pocket letters, there's not really a way to store them unless you're like putting them in a box, like a shoe box or just kind of putting them in the pocket of your three ring binder. There's not really a good way to store them and store them prettily, <laughs> cute. <laughs> so I decided to make a mini pocket letter holder. So it's just kind of like the base of a mini album, but it's gonna be able to hold a mini pocket letter. And it just has one of the three ring binder clips, but it's only one of the rings. <laughs> so what I had to do for the base is I had a four and a quarter by 11 piece of chipboard. And this is a heavyweight chipboard. So I ended up taking a few more steps to get it to what I needed. And also the size was very strange. So it took a lot of extra work, as you can see. <laughs> and I know it's sped up really fast compared to how long it took me. So it's kind of hard to focus on. But it's basically the basis of a mini album. We're just making our binder piece, which is a three by four and a quarter. Oh, wait, that's not right. I know that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then we have our two pieces on either end, which is four and a quarter by 11. And then I'm going to use a three by four and a quarter, the strip of craft cardstock, which you can use whatever color you want, but I use that to secure the little binding piece to the two side pieces. And I have to make sure to score every time I put a new piece of cardstock on there because that's going to make it the best and easiest way to maneuver that at the end. Now I had to poke holes to put this binder ring through. So what I did is I used my hole punch to just mark my way and kind of give me a little template of where I needed to make my circles. But it's not going to cut through the chipboard because it's, it's too thick. <laughs> so I had to get out my X-Acto knife and my piercing tool to really get into that hole. To really, you know, make sure I had a nice opening for my binder clip. So then I added my paper, which ended up being just a quarter inch short of the... So it was four by twelve... or four by, shoot, why can't I think? Four by 10 and three quarters. <laughs> and that ended up being my paper, my designer or pattern paper to go on top of that card, the craft card stock. And then for my little piece in the center, my binder piece, it ended up being two and three quarters by four to cover up those holes. And I had to go and poke through to make sure that those holes were visible again. Now I didn't want to, well, it wouldn't really go through the holes. I don't know why. So I figured the best way to do this was to just put twine through the holes and secure the ring in place. And that ended up working out really well. I just had to tie double knots on either side of the ring to make sure it stayed. 
and I added a little bow just to be cute. <laughs> and then I can put my mini pocket letters in there. I know it is such a fast and it was kind of a complicated thing to do, but I think it's going to be great and it looks great on my shelf. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a crazy day. Not too crazy, good crazy, not bad crazy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!